Hey everyone, this is Dawn, and um, so this is the intro to a whole new series of videos that I'll probably be doing, and this is for my new motorhome. I am now first time owner, buyer of an RV motorhome. I bought a 2006 Coachman Leprechaun uh, 292 DS. Um, a couple days ago and I have to it's a fixer-upper for sure there's a lot wrong with it but I didn't have the money to get something actually really nice and this isn't um, this is a purchase for need uh, not for pleasure so I just have to explain a little bit I don't want to get all personal and everything but I do feel like I have to explain because otherwise um, a lot of my choices and decisions might not be understood because it is expected or assumed that when you get a motorhome um, then it's all about fun and adventure and it's something you know you're starting new adventures camping and all that well I don't do camping. <laughs> um, I don't. I don't do camping, and I don't do uh, a lot of fun stuff. I guess um, this motorhome I am getting because I got a divorce, and um, my life is all turned upside down, sort of thing. And I need a safe place, a safe space and it possibly will be my home for the next year at least and um until i can get funds to do otherwise so this is a this is a necessity home thing this will be my new home sort of thing i think maybe i don't know everything's up in the air right now um but it's not a it's not a happy happy situation it's a um i need a safe place so um, there is absolutely money restraints. Um, I'm doing this on my own in that I am divorced and I don't have, you know, um, but the good news is that I seem to have a bunch of friends that are willing to help me out and, um, uh, help me, um, like, tackle this project along with other things in my life and uh so i'm so grateful for all of you um anything helpful please i am doing this on my, on my own a lot of diy stuff a lot of me just trying to figure things out so i will be making a lot of mistakes please don't watch what i do and then start like trashing me or <laughs> say why are you so stupid let me just get that out of the way right now i am totally dumb i have no idea what i'm doing this is my first motorhome ever and um you know i wouldn't even ever get it if it wasn't for this need right so um i'm doing my best and i just need to get this going and get this um suitable to be lived in and and all that so um i'm doing my best um so um i got the motorhome and <clears throat> it's really hard i wanted something better something newer um you know n not so old not so broken and all that, but i had have my um i have my money restraints um so uh, fate landed me this one and it is far from perfect, but it's what I got. It's what I have to work with. I am grateful, and um, and we can do this. And we we can definitely work with it, and uh, we'll we'll make it happen. We'll make it work. Okay, so. Um, you guys know my youtube is not about any one topic ever my youtube is just about me and my life and uh, i make videos because um this is my way of uh sharing back and also um you know you guys are my friends <laughs> so <laughs> um so i have m many different topics on my youtube but i want to put this on its own playlist uh so you'll see playlists like euc or i don't know what other playlist personal this one will be under rv motorhome or something like that and um so all about the motorhome stuff so if you ever want to see just one topic just go to the playlist and pick that topic and then that's that's should be the only one that you'll see um so what are we doing here um 
I guess the first thing is to show you my new home and uh, you'll see how much how much work there is involved in this once again I appreciate all the support please no haters I know there are haters out there but be patient be kind all right let's get going you want to see all right let's go take a look all right, so here it is, 2006 um, Coachman Leprechaun uh, 292DS. It has a 6.8 liter V10 and it runs well. It has 7,300 miles on it, a little bit more now that I've driven it home, right? It's too low of a miles to, um, so the biggest problem with this is that it's sat for years and years and years without um, working the um, <clears throat> but it's uh, there's going to be a lot of damage from the Sun from sitting uh, it didn't look that it didn't look that bad from the outside doesn't look that bad from the pictures but you get up close and it looks horrible it looks so bad um, the all the decals are peeling off this is completely literally just crumbling off this totally needs to be replaced all around the slides the slides are struggling to um, open and close so that is going to be an issue decals all nasty um, there the roof needs to be resealed and there is some water damage um, duh, duh, duh. so ugly so horrible <laughs> like literally I was all excited to see this and then I pulled up and I was like oh it looks awesome and then as I am walking closer and I'm seeing this I'm like oh no <laughs> but um, this is just cosmetic I suppose we do have an awning up top and they said that it was new and I said okay what is your definition of new because uh, I don't even know what that is. But I'm like, what's your definition the, the definition of new? And they're like, uh, two years old. So I was like, okay, no, that's not quite my definition of new, but um. <laughs> okay, so the outside is not good, right? Engine is good, but it needs to be serviced big time. So I definitely need to service that. Um, but outside, not so great. The roof is, the roof is actually not too bad. Actually, let's go up there. The roof is not too bad, I don't think. I mean, it's not like it's cracking. Eh. And oh, 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 look at this. I got a thingy to put all my wheels on. Um, let me see if I can do this with one hand. Oh my gosh. I think I need two hands to get up on ladders. Is this a two hand thing? Okay, hold on. I'm just holding my phone in my hand, guys. So give me a break. Um, so this is the roof. Not awful, but uh, definitely due to be resealed and it does leak. So, going back down. Oh my gosh, I am so high off the ground. Okay, we're going to have to jump. Ah! Okay. Um... all of this oh my gosh while we're here let me show you this is the storage and it's not good you guys I need storage because basically I need to pack up everything I own and put it into the RV so um um I'm getting rid of as much of stuff as I can and just becoming a minimalist sort of thing, but it's super hard and, um, but still, I still have stuff and so I was counting on storage, right? But literally, this is how, this is how tall this is. So I'm gonna need to find some kind of, and then this is, this is as, much, as far as my arm reaches. So it's a, it goes all the way through, but how am I supposed to even reach anything in the center, right? So I don't even know um, how I'm going to use this as any kind of proper storage. But I have that one. And then this is the, 
water stuff. Oh, here's the other thing. I don't know how to use any of this stuff. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> um, the tires, they said there was brand new tires. Um, they're four years old already. So not exactly brand new, but, um, but I mean, it, it wasn't their fault. It's just that they bought the tires two years ago and to them, they're saying new because that's when they bought it. But um, when they bought it two years ago, then, so they didn't check the date on the tire. So this is how you check. You look for this little um, encircled number. And then this is the 49th week of the year 2019. And that is when this tire was made. So, and it has a spare tire, but they didn't even know that it had a spare tire. Um, so they never changed it. So this spare tire is from, where is this spare tire? The spare tire is from 2005. So the spare tire is no good. Where is the spare tire? It's underneath somewhere. Let's see if I can see it from the back. I saw it. Oh, oh my gosh, it's like right there, literally. I thought it was, I was looking back there further. Okay, so there's a spare tire mounted underneath, but it's, uh, it's not mounted on tight. And that's from 2005. And there's, uh, I think, it's it's definitely no good at all so i need to definitely get a spare tire put that on and then the tires are like the tires are bad in that the the valve they didn't have metal valve stemmy things and then these pushed in and literally we spent hours trying to fill air in the tires the only way we could finally do it was um oh it's missing a lug nut over there too um Oh, the only way we could do it was uh, I found a tire place for semis and went in there and begged them to help me. I was like, please, you know, we're having so many issues. Can you please just put air in my tires so I can get home because the tires were flat. And I said, I just want to get home. And I was like two and a half hour drive from home um, is where this was. And so they felt sorry for me and they helped me and they got air in here. But they said that... Um, you know, how this is set up is really messed up and I do need to get that professionally fixed um, when I can. So this is the door in and it was really hard to get in there because it wouldn't open. It was like jammed, but now it opens and, oh, I guess, okay. You do have to push it a little bit to get it shut. But before like it was jammed. Okay, you ready to see the inside? Here's the inside. La, the inside's not bad. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'll flip this switch so we got some light in here. Although it's pretty light, it's so light and airy. So both of my slides are out. I have two slides. I have the slide in the living room, which this is the living room. I have the dinette. Um, a sofa and there's storage under there and it turns into a bed it jackknifes into a bed I have <clears throat> a, my kitchen sink it has dual thingies I just put this on here um, a little window there WD-40 is how I fixed my door we got upper cabinets lower cabinets we got a little um, range top here Let's Hold this out of the way. Get this out of the way. You got your little range top. You got your stove oven thingy. Put this back down. WD-40 time. Um, the microwave. Not too bad. Not too bad. And I hate 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 the carpet it is so nasty but you know what I'm going to be doing a lot of work coming in and out of here and I don't want to be taking off my shoes so I want to change all the flooring but that's not important right now right um <clears throat> this area here is my daughter's favorite area and she's already claimed it there's a little bit of storage up in there and then you got this whole area and over there is where I think uh was some water damage um, 
So we got some uh, separation up there as well. But we got this whole thing and I need to figure out what to do with this space. Um, although my daughter has claimed it so far. So, you know, we've got to take that into consideration. Here is the cab area. TV, which I don't have a remote or anything for. Um, the fridge. Doo, doo, doo. Oh, I need to. I got to fly in here. Hold on. Let me close this door. All right. Where were we? So fridge and this I need to figure out what to do because it has it has this to prevent this from slamming shut. But when I'm driving, it just keeps doing this. So um, I don't know. There has to be a better way to secure that so it doesn't move at all. The bathroom is in here. There's a small shower. I know. People don't like the small showers. They want a full-size shower, but we got the small shower and we got a really small bathroom in here. Kind of narrow, kind of claustrophobic, but it's okay. That's the only mirror in the house right now. And then the bed. Um, and I do need to cut this mattress. So they were quite proud that this was a new mattress and it's a full size queen mattress. But um, it means that when the slide comes in, actually, let me go ahead and I'm gonna do the slide because I want you guys to hear the slide working. Okay, so right there, I'm, I'm going to stop because I don't want to strain the motor anymore. But it's not fully closed at this point because this is in the way and um, it can go, it can close another several inches. So the only way that I've been able to do this was to lift this mattress up and then keep pushing the button and letting it close. And then this stays up like that. And that's just like kind of ridiculous. Like I think where they made the end of this is actually, uh, you know, proper. So the mattress shouldn't exceed there and look how much the mattress exceeds. So I think the easiest thing would be to cut this. Uh, but this is a very big thing to cut and it is all foam and all that. So, but we're gonna figure out how to do that. But do you hear how, how the slide is like horrid and all these clunks? There's a fly attacking me. All right, so uh, yeah. I need to fix the slide situation. I think one of the first things I need to do is kill this fly that's in here. Wait, did I say uh, the fly situation? The slide situation. I don't know what I said, but I have this fly on my mind right now because it's like literally pissing me off. So we have vent there. The vent doesn't have any fan on it. So um, might need to change that. It is super hot. Like I'm sweating in here already. Uh, the air conditioner doesn't work right now because um, <clears throat> because uh, I can't connect to power and the generator doesn't work um, because it's been sitting for all these years. So it just don't work. I need to um, I need to find figure out how to fix it or find someone that can help me figure out how to fix it or fix it. I don't know. So I, I need to do something about uh, fixing the generator. The generator doesn't work right now. So what do we got? Um, outside exterior, all gross. Uh, clear coat gone. Decals gone. Uh, to paint, to strip and paint this thing would probably be like, um, I don't know, eight, nine, ten thousand dollars um, $10,000. The roof needs to be resealed. Um, I don't know, $2,000. Uh, I don't know the condition of the awning because we weren't able to put it out ever and test it. Um, I don't know what that stuff is, but I definitely need to get that off. Um, let's see. 
it has power it has power side mirror things but they creak and cr groan and do funky things um doo -doo -doo. generator doesn't work leaks water damage um the slide outs uh, struggle super hard all of these seals um, all the way around there are like um, any kind of rubber or foam seal type of stuff is like uh, degraded and there are parts of windows that are not even sealed at all like I can see complete daylight through them so it is absolutely not not water resistant at all so um, if it rains I'm gonna have to throw a tarp over it or um, something so that uh, it doesn't uh, go wet inside right anyway so that is it my new motorhome um, it has pros and cons and it is my new project and that will be what uh, videos I will be making about this will be getting it all fixed up so thank you all for joining me um, and I will see you next video bye